and biopsy. PET-CT guidance helps, especially when the nodule is not well seen on regular scans. This is a patient who had multiple malignancies. Every two or three years, he'd land up with a new cancer within the lungs. This was a post-irradiated lung. We did a PET-CT. There are people who actually biopsy within the PET-CT scanner as well. We don't do that. But using the reference frame here, knowing exactly where I needed to go, we were able to put the needle inside. The other important thing is to avoid the collapsed area and biopsy the tumor. Very often we have a situation like this. That's the central tumor here. This is the post-obstructive atelectasis. And <coughs> it's so easy to say that I'll just put the needle straight inside and take material out. And that's when we would get a negative biopsy because at this point all you have is collapsed parenchyma. You need to go in towards the bronchus if you've had a contrast CT, a PET CT done, you will know where the active lesion is and you need to go all the way in. When you're going in, you can actually differentiate between the collapsed parenchyma and the tumor. The parenchyma is like butter. You just go straight through and then you hit the gritty, part solid, hard lesion and you can make out the difference. And that's when you know that you've actually hit the tumor. You can even use contrast during the study, just inject a little bit while you're advancing the needle and you can make out the difference between the tumor and the collapsed parenchyma.